Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and another farming video. Now the other day I put up a video on how to farm helium filaments on the moon. I showed you a pretty fast way to do it, showed you the way that I did it. And if you haven't already seen that and you're looking for helium, then make sure you go over to the channel and check that one out. But today I am turning my attention to Relic Iron, which you'll find on Mars. So if we jump over here and we go to Mars and we jump into the patrol mission. Again, this can be done in any mission. You can either do it in story missions, strike missions, whatever you want, but it's generally better to do it in, um, what do you call it, in patrol, simply because you've got the freedom to move around wherever you want, and obviously you're not, you know, being pointed in a direction by a objective. But anyway, that aside, uh, obviously, as with all of these things, it's worth mentioning that everybody will have their own way of farming things. You know, you may well have a preferred location. You might have a location that people haven't necessarily discovered that works really well for you, and that's fine. But for those of you that are looking for a good way to farm Relic Iron, then this is a really reliable way, and it will let you get good numbers or good kind of like quantities of Relic Iron in a relatively short space of time. In fact, I'll switch this um, this kind of run or this sort of like Relic relic sort of iron farming location uh, relatively recently, because up until now, the area that I'm driving through, through this is kind of like the original... Uh, the original relic farming location is a mixture of sort of a chest run and also some like ore that you can kind of pick up as well. And while it is good, it's not necessarily the fastest run. So for example, if I typically need to just sort of get 16 pieces of ore for like one quick upgrade, then often I'll jump there because I can kind of, you know, a couple of circuits and I've normally got what I need. But if I do need a substantial amount of um, relic iron, like for example this morning I wanted 164 relic iron so that I could upgrade both my weapon and my armor, then I wanted something a little bit more reliable. So, uh, pay attention to where I'm actually driving right now. Obviously, right from the start, I went all the way down here, bypassed the first area, and just sort of like pay attention to this whole route, because this is where we're going to go. We're working our way towards the Scablands. So, I'm going to fast forward this a little bit here, so you don't necessarily have to kind of see the whole journey in this sort of normal pace, and then we're going to pick up once we get to the Scablands. Right, and here we are at the Scablands, and what you see in front of you is a Cabal Stronghold. So, this, what you're about to do here, is a chest run, whereas the, sort of the original, the, the, uh, the first Relic Iron place to farm right at the beginning of the patrol mission is a mixture between chests and Relic Iron sort of nodes, whereas this one is purely, purely chest. You may see the occasional node kicking around, but primarily we are focusing on chests. So, what you want to do is, when you get here, um, take, it to, take your sparrow and drive to the top right hand corner. This is where we're going to start our run. Do bear in mind that this is a sort of level 15, semi-high level area with Cabal who do kind of hit hard, so you do want to sort of be careful. Ideally, you won't be doing any engagements when you're doing a farming run, you'll be running straight past your enemies, but do still be careful. Anyway, you get to the top right-hand corner, up here, and we're going to begin by starting in here. As with the uh, the helium filament run that I did, uh, and when it, obviously we went into caves, typically any time you go into a cave you can find a chest. Well, these are effectively your caves, only this time they're like dark rooms. So we begin in here, you run in here, check every single side, you know, different corners and whatnot. The chest will either spawn on the left or the right. Either way, it's not there for me at the moment, but do bear in mind it works in a rotation. So if you haven't seen it now, it doesn't necessarily mean it won't be there next time. So we then jump out of here. We go up here and jump up onto this bridge right up here. You then spin around and here is a room behind you. There we go. To my right is a chest. There are a couple of different colored chests as well. You know, different ones give you different stuff. But anyway, we then go from there, drop down here, go down on the ground, and again, look to the left and to the right. It's not one here right now, but again, that is another location. So that's three so far. You then want to go around here, jump up onto here. If this is the first time you're being here, by the way, uh, check down here. There's a ghost that you can pick up as well. So that's an extra little tip for you. Uh, so far, that's three chests. Then jump up on here. There can potentially be one up here or alternatively up on this side. So do check them. Uh, they don't spawn quite as often, but they are still potentials. I have seen them before. Then go down here, underground again. Check both sides. Nothing here for me right now, but that's fine. So we're then going to go out of here. Take a right. Here is your second room. We go down here. Again, check left. Check right. Nothing there. Do bear in mind, obviously, there are other people around as well. So they may well be doing the run in the opposite direction, which means we might well be overlapping each other. But anyway, either way, you then come out of there and you run down towards this side. And you then go into this third one. And this will be the complete... Uh, sort of like side of the wall. We're then going to move on to the trenches after that. Where possible, if you do see other people, try and sort of like, you know, sync up with them. Even if you don't party up, maybe just sort of follow them because if they open a chest and then you get there sort of 30 seconds later, chances are it's going to be, it'll disappear. So you do want to sort of, you know, try and sync up and follow each other. Anyway, yeah, so once we finish from there, you come down here and you run down underground at this point here. 
Again, checking both sides. They normally spawn in there. It isn't a very sort of lucrative run for me right now, but as I said, this does work at low rotation, so you know, sometimes you get a really good run and sometimes you get a not so good one. You can also find a chest that spawns there, but otherwise, right opposite there, you go downstairs, underground, and there can be one here. These are quite easy to miss, you know, for example, if you're sprinting down here, you know, it's quite easy for you to just sort of see it as part of the wall and run past it, but do bear in mind these are potential locations. Then jump up on here and uh, check up on here. You can have a chest that spawns here. Uh, there was actually one, I'll, in fact, I'll switch to a clip at the moment so you can kind of see there is actually one that does spawn up here. It's not quite as common, so, you know, doesn't really, it's not there that often, but do still check it anyway. While you're doing your run, it doesn't hurt to look around. Then you jump over there and go down to this one here. Spin around left and right, and you'll find chests in either of those locations. You come back up here. You then run through again. Alcove there for a chest. Room down here. So we check over this side. And then we come back out again. You run forward. And this is the last sort of stretch of our run. Now I know I did say that this was going to be a really lucrative run. And I appreciate I haven't got that many chests. But do bear in mind this is a really, really quick run. And the respawn rates on the chests are pretty damn good. Then you jump down here. And you go and check in this side. Again, both sides looking left and right. Come up here. There is the other alcove there. And the last one you want to do is take a left. Swing around this corner. Duck into here on the right. Check both sides. There we go. There's a chest there. And then we begin our run again. Now, I appreciate that in the process of showing you this, I only actually opened up two chests. So me saying, oh, this is a really good run, doesn't really sort of do it justice. But do bear in mind that, A, we did see a person running around who's going the opposite way to me. So chances are, if he's running this route backwards, then he may well be finding the chests. And by the time I get there, they may have despawned. So that's why I said it's important to either sync up with people or, you know, at least try and sort of you know, follow them and whatnot. So either way, you then go back into here and begin your run all over again. So I'm just going to go and do one more pass on this without sort of, you know, talking too much. You can kind of see how fast you can actually do it. Obviously, I slowed down while I was sort of like showing you where things are. But ordinarily, provided I don't miss that jump, ordinarily you can do this pretty fast. You know, the whole run will sort of take you, what, you know, like two, three minutes, something like that. So I'm um, just going to kind of zip through this just so you can kind of sort of see it in action. Just to kind of see how I would do it normally without, you know, stopping to sort of look around. And then I'll uh, pick up with you in one second. And there you have it, that is just a quick sort of speed run through, just so you can kind of see how quickly and efficiently you can run through and get all those chests. But that is the way that I have currently and for a while been gathering Relic Iron. As I said, there are different ways or different like, kind of locations you can go to on the Mars, on the Mars, sorry, on the planet, uh, the planet Mars. So obviously find whichever one works for you and whichever one you know you prefer. If you do find that this area is potentially sort of too high level, you can obviously go to other ones that are potentially not quite so busy, but either way, this is the way that I find most lucrative because the chests do respawn relatively well. And obviously, if you don't see them your first time around, normally you'll find that, as you just saw in the video, my second round was a lot better than my first one. So this is the way that I've been doing. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button and show your support. That's really helped me out. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this farming run. Maybe you use it already or maybe you've got something better. But either way, it'd be kind of really cool to sort of see what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.